there. Well, I'm still kind of in disbelief that I've made it to 10,000 subscribers. Just kind of blows my mind. I imagine sometime over this next week or two, I'll do a live stream and, you know, people can ask me questions and just do a more proper celebration of the fact that I've made it to 10,000 subscribers. I don't do live streams very often. Most of the time when I've done them, it's been when I'm playing games. But just regular question and answer sessions, yeah, I haven't done that very much. I don't have... I don't have that much self-confidence in that. You know, I... I don't have that much faith that I would have a, a live stream that would be very interesting for people. You know? That's why I usually focus on, on the, the videos, because I can, I can think about what I'm going to say, I have some, some specific subjects to talk about, but, I mean, I've seen some people do live streams where they're just, they're just sitting there and they might listen to music or something. Or, or, I don't know, I just like, well, do you, do you really think that's interesting? So, I don't know. I don't know if I'm very interesting. But, anyway. Um, the reason why I wanted to make this video is... The quarantines are really starting to get to me. You know, when it was just a few months, I, I was all right. You know, when it got to six months, yeah, I, I, I was struggling a little bit, but I was still all right. At this juncture, I am really, really starting to struggle. My mental health has taken a, a, a serious downturn recently. And it's just getting worse. You know. When the vaccine eventually comes out to, I mean, well, it's, it's kind of out now, but when it's distributed to the majority of people, and I don't, eventually don't have to worry so much you know, I, I'm going to be one of these people who's going to just, like, I crave going to just somewhere that has a lot of people, and I'd be one of these people holding up a sign that says, free hugs, you know? Just, like, I mean, when I go to grocery stores, as it is, I get massive amount of joy out of just talking to a, a cashier for just a moment. I get joy from that. My living situation, you know, I'm... I haven't wanted to say this, but, you know, I... I'm a caregiver for my mother, and I pay about 400 a month. My mother is in her 70s. I have to be extra careful. If I wasn't living where I am, I would probably still find, I would find a way to, to visit with some of my friends. And I have one friend who recently had a stroke. I don't know if he's even going to be around for a few more months. And I'm not able to see him because I can't take any chances. When I talked to him on the phone recently, he, he has a very, very hard time speaking now. Just tore me up here at hearing him. I'm just like, oh my God. And so many people are struggling right now. They're probably going to lose their place. I have other friends who, who are going to be losing their place of residence. There are so many people who are struggling. We're watching the economy turn to crap. We're probably going to be seeing an, an, an economic situation that could even be worse than the Great Depression. And yet we have some people just 
making it sound like we can, let's just shut down the country indefinitely. And I'm just like, what's, what's wrong with you? Do you just think that, yeah, just what's wrong with you? I understand that we, we need to reduce the spread. And I've talked about, you know, we got to wear a mask when we're in public. We've got to do social distancing. We've got to make sure that, I mean, we shouldn't have gyms open. We shouldn't have non-essential businesses having tons of customers going into their place. You know, we, we need to take precautions. I get it. And I push this. But for some people, that's still not good enough. No, we lock down even more. Indefinitely. There are some people that are talking about even after the vaccine, we, we should just continue the social distancing. Oh, this is the new normal. No, no, no. I, I, it, once the vaccine comes out and it's distributed all over the place and we're not having to worry as much, no, I'm, I'm not going to live the way that I am right now. No, absolutely not. No, no way. And I know damn well I'm not the only one. This is a serious situation, okay? This is a pandemic. This is something to be concerned over. But so is mental health. So is the economy. What has me a little bit more on edge than normal as well is, you know, when I'm given scripts for some of the, the videos that I, that I do voiceovers for, you know, I make sure that I, I don't do any alcohol during that entire time. I don't do any weed. I don't do any substances that could potentially affect my voice. So I'm not having to cough. So nothing is craggy. Of course, I think this video that I'm making now where I've raised my voice so much, yeah, that doesn't help very much either. It's pretty bad for my voice. But that, you know, that doesn't help with my mental state when I'm having to, to quarantine, when I'm having to lock down, when I'm not able to visit my friends, when I'm not able to go places where there are people. You know, I am a somewhat introverted person. You know, I'm not, I'm certainly not the life of the party. But I do crave being around humans. I do crave human interaction. And when that choice is taken away from me, yeah, it, it's really hard on me. And you can call me a wuss, a sissy, or, or whatever you want. Because it affects me so much. Oh, aren't you just so, aren't you just so courageous or whatever because oh it's not affecting you oh it's not affecting you well it's affecting me and I know it's affecting a number of others there's so many people who are struggling there's so many people who haven't been able to visit their loved ones who are dying And yet, you know, people on the left can protest all they want, and that's okay. And some of why the protests have been so popular is because, it, well, it gives them an excuse to be around other people. Whether you want to admit that or not.
But I've not been doing that well. Mentally. Otherwise, you know, non-mentally, yeah, I, I have it really good compared to a lot of other people. I have it really good. I'm very fortunate. I'm also very lucky. I know I have it good. At least right now, anyway. When this living situation isn't here anymore, I certainly won't be having it very good. I guess I don't want more to say. I guess I'll end the video.